going on everybody it's your boy here to give you guys a tag video uh this is called the positive tag and i was tagged by mr chalaki i said that i would i would do this last week meant to do it yesterday got distracted almost did not get this motherfucker done today almost but it's getting done <laughs> okay so it's getting done today the only thing is he did not have the questions but I do know there were other people doing the tag video, and I believe I saw uh, James Cole do it, and he had mentioned that it was actually uh, S underscore Hutchinson that I guess had uh, started um, this tag, if you will. So shout out to her, and I actually had to pull up the questions from her actual um, YouTube. So it's uh, five questions. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can without rambling on. Uh, <laughs> so, I right, question one: What are three things you are good at? Uh, you see, well, one I will say uh, entertaining, and uh, damn near well, not every aspect, but in a lot of different aspects. I like to, like I said, I've acted uh, back when I was high school. I still do like to act. I actually, throw a lot of acting in my everyday life. Fucking around people, people think I'm serious when I'm actually not. It's good times. Uh, singing, that whole thing, and even just doing a YouTube and sometimes getting on hand, just cutting the food, just, you know, just for entertainment and to kind of get people, you know, distracted from life because, you know, hell, we, life is serious enough. We don't need to be serious over here. Uh, so there's that. Um, What else? Being a great asshole. I. <laughs> It's especially in my everyday life, like, it's one of those where I am an asshole, but I'm that guy where when you actually get to know me, you love me, or you possibly hate <laughs> me, even if we even get to that point. But, I mean, it's just who I am. I'm a bluster cast and stuff when I'm compromising asshole. I mean, that's just my nature, but, I mean, hell, I'm good at I'm good at being me. <laughs> it's only one me, and I'm good at being that. And... I want to say being loyal. Um, I am a loyal person for, for the most part. Like, like, like I said on my Periscope, even if I fall out with somebody, unless uh, they decide they want to sit here and try to, you know, put my shit out there on Front Street, you never go hear me say it. A lot of shit that is said between me and somebody else, I keep that shit to myself. You know, there's no need to sit here and, you know, spread that shit. Like, I am fucking loyal to a fault at the same exact time, you know, I'm also that motherfucker where I don't like being cross. I don't like that. And at the same exact time, I mean, in addition to being loyal, like, I'm very caring, and sometimes that can, that can work against me, like, even just in my, you know, in my job, you know, I have those that are under me, and like I said, I mean, when I say I care, I care, even the sons of bitches I can't fucking stand, you know, I still have to make sure I take care of them, and, you know, it is what it is, but like I said, I'm a very, very caring person, you know, so. Three things I'm good at. Y'all could take the last two and say it's four, but damn it, it's, it's one. Uh, which YouTubers inspire me the most? Um, in terms of inspiration, um, I want to say uh, Socialize Sandy. Uh, like I said, she has two channels, The Socialize Life and also her uh, vlogging. And the inspiration there is, like I said, it's kind of like watching her. And I'm like, okay, I can do a little bit of vlogging. And I'm actually starting to get back into it. But the fact that she and Juice, they are so open with their lives. And it's one of those where I'm open but to a fault. I can't be all the way open with my life only because I'm selective about, you know, what I do and what I don't put out there. But, I mean, like, that's inspiring. Also, uh... James Colwell and Lady Nika, with both of them, you know, we've seen them going through, uh, well, I've seen more or less on the YT, them going through their uh, health bouts, and more or less with James, he kind of took us start to finish through his uh, his uh, cancer journey and his fight and, you know, him being triumphant at the end, him being in the um, hospital with that metal bitch, <laughs> as he likes to call and, you know, even Lady Nika, you know, uh, her having lupus and going in and be with the machines and everything. And that's inspiring because, I mean, those of y'all who've been rocking with me, y'all know that the last half of last year, literally, 
it, it worked a number on me. And even recently, <clears throat> coming back from being gone and having, uh, I want to say, I guess we can call it a, just a respiratory infection, but just like a regular sickness, but with all the coughing, you know, of course, mine goes to the worst place. Thinking like, oh, shit, I might have pneumonia again, not the coughing, and I don't want to break another rib, and just that other thing. And then even just outside of that, you know, dealing with, you know, my elbows, my abdomen, my back, just, again, they, what I do for a living, you know, shit happens. You know, I applaud the lucky ones who don't get hurt, but just seeing them kind of like going through what they go through and still being able to crack out a video and all the other stuff like like that it's admirable like shit's inspiring this shit is fucking inspiring uh trying to see if there anybody else if i don't say your name like please don't get mad like but you know if i watch you or if you have a twitter and your stuff is linked to your twitter like if i, I i'll hey, again if I like it, it pops up there, but I ain't trying to shit on nobody. I don't want nobody <laughs> trying to. Um, th I think, oh, and, and Ashley Miller, of course, you know, uh, a lot of people call her the GOAT on the YT when it comes to getting the videos up. Sometimes, you know, I do. Some, sometimes I get my up before she does. Sometimes she gets, well, most of the time she gets hers up before I do. But, you know, like I said, love the fact that, you know, she's on her health journey. I'm back on mine. Uh, just be looking for my vlog at the end of the week. I'll, I kind of talk about a lot of the shit in the derail. Like even right now, you know, I'm gonna get it in. Drinking on a green smoothie right now. So, trying to get everything back right. Uh, all right, on to question number three. What are three things you are excited about? Well, like I said I have two. I, I'm really trying to. <laughs> uh, but the first is again as long as I stay the fuck out of trouble I will be in Europe in October so that right there like I'm truly like if I'm not excited about anything actually I got three so I'm excited about that definitely um, like I said that's the one place that I've been trying to go that I couldn't go so it's now available so I am <sighs> so fucking happy about that like i'm just like yes so i'm excited about that and i will be going on leave in september so i will actually uh i'm excited because i get to go to vegas so i'll be in vegas with um well the people that are actually physically going on the trip trip is uh james alex and sean i'll be there and i don't know what all is going to happen i don't know who all is going to come and I'm choosing to kind of like stay out of all of that because I just want to fucking be surprised and enjoy myself. You know, kind of just, this is like turn up, this is like the pre-turn up to the turn up. So, you know, this is like the pre-turn up to me going to Germany. So I am truly excited about that. And this is a vacation that I so desperately need because when I go and leave, like I don't really travel, you know. And <clears throat> the last thing I'm excited about going back to me, um, going on leave is I get to spend time with uh, my mother. You know, like I said we talk and everything, but I like to physically be in somebody's presence. I don't like doing myself like the whole call on the phone thing, but definitely excited to um, spend time with my mother, especially now that I'm down to one parent. <laughs> but definitely uh, spend as much time with her as possible. And actually, and whenever I go home, like that is the intent is making sure I spend as much time with her as I possibly can, so I'm excited about that. Okay, what do you do to relax? Uh, you know, I play a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, still a big ass kid, a little bit of Pokemon if I decide to. If I don't do any of that, then it might just be either just sitting back, scrolling YouTube, or just a symbol, or, or the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me, don't judge me. Run me a hot ass bath, put some Epsom salt in there, pull me a nice long island, and I mean a big long island. And if I didn't already say hot bath, hot bath, play some music and just fucking lay there. Just lay there. That that's it. That's it. It's relaxing. And who am I tagging? It's been a lot of people to do it, so I don't know who hasn't done it. If you want to do this tag, by all means, 
<laughs> do the tag. That's it. That's it. I ain't, I ain't got shit else much more to say. So that's it. That's all. If all goes goes according to plan, I should have uh, Love and Hip Hop done tonight and possibly basketball wise. Possibly. Nothing guaranteed. I said, I got a full fucking busy week, and I was off today. And even though I was off today, I was still here doing work. So, I got a lot of shit to do. <laughs> so, that's it. That's all. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please hurry, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys on the next video. Ah, peace.